So you told me earlier that you're computer challenged, but somehow you're able to use a virtual currency from an online game to help real children in Kenya live better lives. That's amazing. Well, I figured if these avatars can buy hair and shoes to the tune of a half a billion US dollars, they can also pay for a couple of kids to go to school and eat. I think we have to explain this in more detail. You got five minutes? Yes, I do. All right, let's go. My name in Second Life is Brick Topaz. We raise funds to feed children in Kenya. Second Life is just a very small part, but it's grown immensely. The virtual club is called The Lavender Field, and these musicians perform there for free. They give their tips to feed a smile. matter where they are, in their own home studios, or in their garage, or in their living room. I was left to my own I don't make a judgment on musical style. If a musician can bring his or her fans to donate meals for these children, I will ask them to come perform at the Lavender Field. Until the day that is the day that I know more. Did you know Thanks for coming. We are so fortunate to have food in our cupboards. These kids don't have that. This is my song, The Test. The Linden dollar is real money. 30 cents, which is 100 Lindens, pays for a warm meal for a child. And that child is able to eat that day because you paid 30 cents. How hard could it be? The people behind the avatars are the people with the hearts who really are caring. When you have somebody like Sam Quenda, who is an absolutely fantastic singer, when she comes, we have 800 meals paid for within one hour. My board of directors is no longer against Second Life. They can't be. When they started to see the money coming in and say, hey, wait a minute, you mean you just sit there and say thank you? <laughs> Sometimes we have five or six shows a week. Now please, let's make it 30,000 Linda. A Second Life is paying for a third of all of the meals every single month. At least a thousand euros every month. I fly to Kenya every year. I've been in classrooms, 200 first graders in a classroom with a dirt floor, dirt walls, and holes for windows, seeing children who were hungry. I saw a little boy, he had nothing to drink. There was no water. Waiting can be so hurtful. We've just received donations to buy land. We're going to be building a school of our own. Be really good. This year, 45 new children were welcomed into the program. They received pictures of the musicians. They know, okay, these cartoon characters are the people who are making this possible. The Kenyan child just sees a person who is singing to pay for their meal. They're not caring whether it's a cartoon figure or not. They just see the person and they're praying for them. It doesn't matter whether you're religious or not. The children know that it's not all about being on the receiving side. And the only thing that they can give is their thanks. I don't mind my dear. People are always saying, this is ein Tropfen auf and Heisenstein. And my answer to that is, if it was your child who was hungry, if it was your child who wasn't being educated, then it, it would be your child. And it's not just a drop. I think there are a lot of people out there who really want to do good things, but they don't know how. Whether it's a financial thing or not, doesn't really matter. They don't know how. In Second Life, it's all there. It's all possible. Living can be so real. Though living can be unreal. Be so unreal.